How do you feel yourselves as Labour in Harlow have conducted the tone of this debate? And, and I know all of, like this interview, everything's now online uh, at the moment. Do you feel the tone is, um, is dignified? I've always been very open to scrutiny. Um, some of my colleagues suggest that actually I should uh, answer fewer questions, but, but I, I don't think that's my role. As a, you know, I put myself forward to be a councillor, to represent the people of Bushfair and to um, do the very best that I can by the town. And I think it's right and proper that people ask questions and I think it's right and proper that I give answers. Um, I've tried very hard to um, conduct the debate in a civilised manner. Um, when I get a letter that's delivered to me five minutes before it's delivered to the press, um, that's problematic. But I try and answer it. And because it's in the press, I'll answer it in the press. And I try to do so without um, making personal attacks. And let's be clear, the Harlow Conservatives have made some very unpleasant personal attacks on me. For example? Um, well, for example, um, in a letter from uh, the leader of Harlow Co Conservatives and a co-signed, I think, by uh, uh, the Harlow MP, Robert Halfen, that he accused me of ducking an interview on BBC Radio Essex um, uh, eight days ago. That was a Thursday. Now, I have three primary age children who are being homeschooled. My wife does the most of that. But on Thursdays, she works. She does online lessons for um, ACL. And so Thursday mornings are my morning when I do the homeschooling for my children. To say I duck the interview is a complete fabrication. It's frankly hurtful and it disregards the difficult circumstances that I and many other parents across Harlow are facing in trying to balance home life, homeschooling and work. I put up my deputy for that interview and uh, my deputy, Eugenie Harvey, Harvey, is a very capable lady. Do, um, do you feel then for the Tories in Harlow are getting under your skin and that maybe you should be a bit more robust? Do you think, you know, because you do dish it out, you're very abrasive and assertive on, on social media. Do you think they're just they're finding the Harlow Labour's weak points? Um, no. I, I don't think that's entirely fair. I think I'm... Um, or is I think there a line? I, you feel across that line? Yeah, I, I, I like to scrutinise decisions made by government. I like to scrutinise um, some of the cronyism that uh, exists in um, government at the moment and the huge sums of money that have been made by friends and colleagues and associates of um, Boris Johnson and his cabinet. And I think that's right and proper because that's our money. That's taxpayers' money that's going there. Um, I don't think I level personal attacks on um, councillors within Harlow. And uh, there seems to have been a change of tone in the way the Tories are behaving at the moment. And we know that Boris Johnson was an admirer of Donald Trump's methods for getting into power and trying to retain power. And we know that those methods include aggressive and often misleading comments. Um, and I fear that perhaps this Trumpist uh, attitude has um, been promoted by the Conservative Party centrally and is now starting to show its uh, ugly side here in Harlow.